yeah, this is the probably, no, this is the best moment of my writing career because it's indigo, because it's like the Hogwarts of the, the literary world, right? Like you guys are the ones that, that influence what everybody's reading, what people are talking about. And your readers, that means something. I grew up with an understanding that story is the only real truthful way that we can connect to each other because it's when we are our most honest, our most vulnerable and our most thoughtful. Books really change the way that we communicate with people because within a story you have the permission to sit still, you have permission to be quiet and you have permission to scream and love and lust. You, you have the entire universe in these pages. And so when you gift a book to somebody, it's given them the permission to not only connect with the story, but to also think about the person who gave it to them and to think about the ways in which it's going to change the way that they move through the world. It really is the most beautiful language we have, is, is that which is captured on the page. If it's someone I know who is, is writing or struggling with writing, as we all struggle with writing, um, um, there's a lot of books that, that are about the subject, but I think the best is actually Stephen King on writing, uh, because he does this beautiful thing where it's not um, precious and it's not specific, but where he very um, um, expertly gives you the tools, and he literally calls it a toolbox, so he gives you the tools um, for whatever it is that you need to write. Um, and uh, uh, Gregory Schofield, oh, beautiful memoirist and poet. His, his work is something that I always, always reach for. So, and moleskins. Oh, I love indigo for moleskins, that whole beautiful wall. And that's also um, where I spend most of my royalties at that wall. But they do make good gifts too. The best book I've ever received as a gift is Charles Bukowski, The People Look Like Flowers at Last. And it was a gift from my brother. And it was the first time that I had encountered Bukowski's poetry. And I remember realizing um, that there was a language for everything. That, that you know, Bukowski's words were like uh, the bricks in an alleyway. If they could speak, those are the words that they would say. Um, and it really just changed my perspective on how we can, we can build an entire narrative out of, out of small sentiments. And that they didn't always have to be pretty, that they could be dark and rough and brutal. And there was a beauty to that. My favorite person to give a book to is myself. <laughs> uh, that's the truth but also um, my students. So I have a great group of students. I am faculty at the Institute of American Indian Arts in Santa Fe. And so there are these brilliant new voices. Oh, God, love them. They don't know, they don't know the struggles ahead of them. So they're just, you know, smiley and optimistic and brilliant. Um, and so I love gifting them books because they really appreciate it. And it, and it because a book is, is so personal. It's the one gift that you can give that really truly lets people know that you know them, that they are seen and it can guide them and it can direct them and it can comfort them. It's, it's just such a personal, unique gift. Um, so, so generally not something I get for the people whose name I pick, uh, you know, as part of a secret Santa, if I don't really know them, um, they're the ones that get the candles. Uh, but the people I actually know get, get very carefully curated books.